it's MK and I am back with another 14 days of Christmas. So today I have a double page layout for you guys. I um, am going to put seven photos on a layout, well, a double page layout. And I went a little overboard on all of the embellishments just because I found some hearts that I have not used yet, which luckily they're all the same color. <laughs> <laughs> so that made me happy. Um, I found a bunch of December words that I thought were really cool um, considering it was about the snow. And then of course I pulled out all my blue trees because that's the paper that I'm going to be using. I just don't know where this is going to go just yet. Um, I also have a lot of pocket pages for this, um, well, for all of our snow sledding days. Um, it's, it's several days, um, all made in to look like it was one day. So I've got a double pager that really isn't a double pager. It's, um, me and my husband, uh, not really taking selfies, but taking pictures of each other. And then on the other page, it's my son attempting to snowboard with a broken board. Uh, don't ask. It's just, uh, one of their things. And they finally decided to toss the board. So... <laughs> <laughs> but I had to document it, right? Um, and then in between is just us, um, you know, sledding and having fun. I do have another single page layout that I would like to create um, using these same materials as well. Uh, so yeah, I definitely have um, lots of pages. And so I wanted to pull out all of the embellishments and things and then just go ahead and keep them all together. So that way I can um, continue to, you know, document our sledding days. So I've got the rub-ons, the epoxy dots, all of the animal um, cutouts and stickers and things like that, uh, just because why not? Um, I probably won't use the moose, mises, mooses. <laughs> um, I probably won't use those, but I do like the deer and the bunnies and the squirrels. We don't have um, squirrels here. We have ground squirrels, um, but we do have the birds um, still, the, the geese and the ducks are still hanging around. Um, they never leave. I, I don't know why they never leave. Um, and then of course the, the deer and, um, the rabbits are all here as well still. So anywho, um, and I also have two little strips of the snowflake paper because why not? Um, I think that it's a really good addition to add that little black. I'm going to mount my photos on this shimmer white cardstock from Stampin' Up! That's eight and a half by 11. So I need three sheets of that. And then I'm going to take my uh, tree paper. I'm going to cut one at six inches to the vertical and one at six inches to the horizontal and then set off the other um, papers off to the side. Now I did not realize that I already had one of these tree papers cut at a six inch. Yeah, I'm an awful person. I would not have done that um, and, and had a full sheet of this paper had I known that, but that's okay. Um, I don't plan on, you know, needing a full sheet anytime soon. So I went ahead and I laid out my, um, my layout the way it's supposed to look in a two pager. And then I'm going to work on them as two separate um, single pages because that's that's technically what they are. Um, and then there's several pocket pages in between these two pages. Um, I think I have three pocket pages. Um, you know, one a 12 by 12, one is eight, an eight and a half by 11. And the other one I believe is an eight by eight. Um, and yes, I do love mixing and matching all of my sizes of, um, of pages, you guys. I really do. It makes me feel like I have a mini album within my album. Um, it is just so cool. And then to add flip flops and, and interactive elements. Uh, but I do like other than my pocket pages, I do like to have, you know, page protectors. I really do. I don't mind putting things on the outside of my pocket pages. That doesn't bother me. But as far as my photos go, I would prefer them in flip flops or um, in a pocket, you know, of some sort, uh, whether it's 12 by 12 or, or six by six, um, it, something, or even a flip flop of three by three, right? Um, I, I would prefer them to be in something, but as far as these elements and things like that go, I am perfectly okay with having them on the outside of my, of my page protectors because they're going to be smushed within an album. And the only time they're going to be touched is when the albums flip through, right? Um, it just, it just makes sense to me. So anyways, I am, uh, going through all of my supplies and, uh, looking at all the things 
Um, I definitely am going to try to bring in some greenery. So I thought I was going to use those sketchy trees that are from my shop. Now, one of them was a miscut. But when um, I think of using these types of trees, I, I know that I'm going to be tucking the trunk um, behind something or inside something. It won't just sit on top. And so I didn't mind um, attempting to use that mismatch. I don't know what happened or why it did that, but um, every now and then I get a mismatch cut and that's how you guys end up with misfits, right? Um, and so, yeah, it definitely um, it has its benefits. Um, and some of them I will try to keep on my desk and use for, um, you know, myself. And then, of course, if it sits on my desk too long, I get tired of work, uh, looking at it. And then it does end up in the Misfit bin. Um, and in case you guys are curious, Misfits are only sold uh, during the month of November during Black Friday. Uh, so just thought I'd throw that out there for you guys. Random. Um, <laughs> But anyways, uh, so yeah, I definitely um, didn't think about the word Christmas when I threw this layout together, but I really wanted to use these large wood um, grain pieces together. So it says merriest of Christmas uh, or merriest Christmas, which, you know, it's just, it's really not like the holiday Christmas, but it's the snow Christmas, you know, we, um, especially where I live, we associate the snow with Christmas. And even when the snow is still here, um, you know, people will still say, is Christmas over yet? Um, because they're waiting for the snow to melt, even though the holiday is gone. Um, the snow is still Christmas represented. <laughs> and I'm so sorry. I'm babysitting my corgis again. They're not my personal corgis, um, but they are, uh, you know, the corgis that I babysit, um, you know, so <laughs> I am babysitting and I apologize if you can hear the little one. Um, my Nala has a baby brother in case you guys didn't know that. So, <laughs> and uh, he does not, he's a little rambunctious to the point where he's still a puppy. Um, and so I have to lock him in my room while everybody else is sleeping at four o'clock in the morning, because if not, he'll go around and start barking and, and, you know, acting all feisty and growling and try to, try to get the other puppies to play. And they're not puppies <laughs> like they're old men <laughs> and they don't want to play at four o'clock in the morning. So anyways, has nothing to do with my layout. I'm sorry. Uh, I get sidetracked with them easily. Nothing gets accomplished. Nothing um, while I have these puppies um, in my house because it, they're just so much fun. Uh, so anyways, um, I am just uh, randomly putting animals on my layout. And the reason that is, is because actually this hill is, it's, we're at the golf course and it's really cool because the golf course lays down this netting. So that way, when we do go sledding, we don't damage their grass. So it's, it's like an invite. They don't, they let people go sledding um, on these hills and there's quite a few hills to choose from. So you're not crowded at all. Um, and especially when there's not a lot of people that still do this, like it's hard work. It really is, especially on this hill here, because you slide down for quite a while. It is so worth, so worth it. Um, and so you go down the hill and then you have to climb back up. That's, that's the ridiculous part. I told my husband, you need to figure out something to where I can just hold on and ski back up. You know, I mean, that's, that's awful. Um, I can, I can slide, I can slide down about two or three times and then, uh, walk up two or three times. And then I have to take a long break because it is so much workout for my thighs. It hurts so bad. Um, I actually take a trail, which is on the other side, uh, down by the trees. There's a trail that's a little bit less of an incline. That's what I walk up. But down in those trees, um, we you slide down and you go around and you're at the very bottom of those trees. It is a long way down, you guys. It is so worth the sled. Um, and at the bottom, there's deer that were trying to sleep. And so um, it, it was kind of cool just knowing that they were that they were there. You can see them. They're kind of watching us, making sure that we're not getting too close to them or whatnot. But this, the sledding actually doesn't go anywhere near them. And so it's kind of cool um, just hearing them and, and knowing that they're they're watching us. Right. It was just really cool. So anyways, um, I, I did want to include those little deer. So these are the photos of my son. Like I said, they found a, a board. Um, they, they always find 
odd things across the street. They found a broken fishing pole. My son thought he could fix it and build his own fishing pole. Oh my God. Um, and then of course they found this uh, broken board and they thought they could fix it. <sighs> yeah, it's, it's like, it's like a boy's dream, you know, to find all these things. And it's like, you know, it was left there because it's broke. <laughs> my husband finally told him no fishing pole, throw it away. It's not good. And he goes, dad, all it needs is a reel. And he goes, it's broken half. It's not good. <laughs> so, um, he, you know, sadly threw it away. And then of course they, they he indulged them on, um, the snowboard. Cause he's like, well, it's got one good foothold, but it doesn't have a second good foothold. And so they tried to fix it using hot glue. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you how well that did not work. And he was like, well, all I need is one to keep it on my foot. And then I can just hold the other foot together. So needless to say, he, he got about halfway, not even halfway down the mountain because I, I climbed halfway so I could get these pictures. Um, but he got about, oh, let's say two thirds. No, a third of the way. Let's say that a third of the way down the hill and he just can't stay up. Um, and, and he just kept falling and he tried it about four or five times, um, because it's easy to climb halfway up or a third of the way up. <laughs> and then he finally gave up. Um, and we ended up throwing it in the dump, uh, there at the, um, at the golf course, as opposed to, um, you know, taking it back home for the second year in a row. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So I apologize that I did not hold them up. I didn't realize that I did not um, until I was editing the video. And of course, as soon as I am done with a layout, you guys, um, I actually put it back in my album. I know it's weird, um, but that's how I, it, it works for me. Um, and it keeps my, my space um, handy dandy. And I don't have to find another storage unit for something else, which is layouts, right? So thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I really, truly appreciate it. Please be sure to check out everyone else that is hopping along with Janet and I who are doing this series together. Um, I am loving all of the layouts, you guys. I, I, I just absolutely love it. I did fall behind on watching a few of the videos, but the best part is, is I get to, you know, go back and enjoy Christmas a little bit longer with you guys. So anyways, um, thank you so much and I will check y'all later. Bye.